What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be back to work on our BMW M5. As you guys see in the previous episode, we pretty much got the entire interior done, put the headliner back in after replacing the airbags, and we also went ahead and took off all the radiators up here. We took a better look at everything, and turns out everything here is fine. So in today's video, what we're going to start doing is actually prepping our new hood to go on. We also have hood hinges. I was thinking about getting this frame rail painted right here, but the thing is we don't have this apron piece right here because this was a special order from the bmw dealership and as you guys know the weather has been really bad lately especially in texas you know the snowstorm's coming through there so we're gonna have to wait on that hopefully it comes in next week but what i want to do also is go ahead we need to figure out what's going on with this fender because as you can see there is kind of a big old gap right here so i'm thinking maybe some of the brackets got bent especially whenever that hood was i guess the hood maybe pushed into it or the headlight pushed into it and it kind of just pushed it out so let's go ahead and get started so here's our hood right here check out this huge package it came in let's go ahead and pull it out we also have a stand right here with the bubble wrap on it so we don't damage it So we got the hood out of the package and check it out, everything looks good. There's no dents or dings anywhere on it. Now what we need to do is go ahead and flip it over, start sanding it and get it ready for paint. So we got the hood all ready. Now all we need to do is stuff it all down. So we got the entire hood all scuffed down and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to leave this number on here. So we'll just tape it up and that's good to go. The hood is pretty much ready to get painted. Now we do also have these hood hinges right here. We ordered them all from the dealership and those hood hinges might be good, but it's always good to just completely replace them. Check these out. Man, that's, that's a pretty complicated hood hinge right there. That's weird. But we got the hood hinges. Now all we need to do is scuff these down and get them painted. Oh, 
so we got the hood hinges all nice and sanded. I was thinking about attaching them and then painting everything together, but what we're gonna do is paint everything, then put them all on the hood. Now what we need to do is go ahead and grab our fender and get to sanding it. Check this out, we got this fender all in package and it's crazy that it came in a bag and it was not damaged anywhere. We already checked it a couple times and it did actually come with this sound deadening right here. Good thing we didn't go with like a cheap aftermarket Chinese one because they usually never put stuff like that on it. Let's go ahead and get this thing prepped and ready for paint also. So we got everything nice and sanded. And if you're wondering why we're only sanding the insides is because we're gonna pre-paint everything, like all the insides, put the fender on it. And then once we get everything buttoned up and all the framework done, we're gonna put all the parts on and paint everything at one time. So now that we have all the parts ready to paint, but we can't actually paint them today because my brother actually just got done painting a car and it's really cold right now, so we can't pull it out. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start taking off this hood because as you guys know, we do have to figure out what's going on with this gap. And something that crazy happened on the road trip when we were driving, we had this hood strapped down pretty good, but it actually flipped up, but gladly there was a lot of snow and it didn't bust the window or anything like that. It did break these shocks, but these things are like 20 bucks a piece. So we really lucked out with that. So let's go ahead and take all this stuff off the hood and get it off here. So we got the hood off and we're not gonna mess with anything on the bottom side of it yet. Once we get this hood painted, we'll just lay them side by side and just swap everything over. So we got the hood off. Now let's go ahead and remove these hood hinges because we don't need them anymore. So we got both hood hinges off and you can see they're bent pretty bad. That's supposed to be actually touching right there. So they were bent pretty good. Now that we got all the hood hinges off, now what we need to do is go ahead, get this wheel off, take this fender liner off and try to get this fender in its correct spot. So we got all the bolts unscrewed off the fender and check this out, see when I push it in like that, the gap turns perfect. And the thing is, you can probably see right here, you see how this is like pushed out a little bit. So all we need to do is tap that one in a little bit, tap this one back in a little bit and it'll be back to OEM.
just as simple as that. The brackets were a little bit bent out. I'm guessing it got pushed out either from the hood or something else like that, but everything lines up good. All the gaps are perfect. All the bolts lined up in their exact areas. So check that out, guys. We put the wheel back on the fender liner. Everything went back together good. And now check this out, guys. We did get the driver airbag finally. Check that thing out. This thing was pretty expensive. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. We don't have our new steering wheel yet, but I think it's gonna be here maybe in like two to three weeks. But I'm thinking we're gonna have this car probably done next week. All we're waiting on is that simple frame piece up front. Once we get that frame piece, we can put all the cooling system together, put everything together and drive this thing. And while we're in here, check this out guys. Everything is back together. The entire roof is all nice and ready to go. Now let's go ahead and open up this airbag and install it. Check that out guys, brand new airbag. This thing was like a thousand bucks. And cool thing, it did come with these. Usually like whenever you buy used airbags, they don't come with these plugs and then you're out trying to find one at a junkyard, but this one came with it. And these are super easy to install. All you do is press one plug in right there and check this out. Just like that, super easy and super simple. Man, this interior is almost complete. All we're waiting on is this seat belt right here and our knee bag that we ordered. And I think that is, a, or it was probably in one of the warehouses where all the weather is bad. So we're waiting on that and the interior will pretty much be done. So it's the next morning here at the shop. This car is all dry, all the clear coat is nice and hardened. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and get all the BMW parts in the booth. You good? Big boy. Hey, find like some cardboard out there. All right. So I can put. This one has bubble. Oh, okay. Here it is, mate. Oh, oh. Set up the electric. Here. Oh. So we got all the parts lined up in the paint booth. We got two hood hinges, a fender, and a hood. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is grab some wax and grease remover right here and wipe everything down. Make sure there's no grease or anything because whenever you touch all the parts with your hands, sometimes you get a little bit of grease spots on there and then whenever you go to paint it, it won't stick really good. So we're gonna wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. Then after that, we have some uh, glass cleaner right here which we're gonna spray on everything and it's just gonna completely remove everything streak free. And then we can mix up some paint and get these things painted in. We got all the parts nice and clean. We hit it with the wax and grease remover, then the glass cleaner. And we did also have to tape off this little barcode sticker right there. So whenever we go into inspection, they see that and they realize it is a new OEM hood. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and go to the paint mixing room, mix up some paint. So right now we are in the paint mixing room. Now all we have to do is type in the paint code on this computer right here and mix up the paint. 
So we got the paint code in here and it's a really simple color. There's only two actual formulas. There's dark black and then just regular black and a controller and some reducer. So let's go ahead and mix this up and get them parts painted. Just save this so then we're gonna paint all that. Alright guys, the paint is all mixed up on the gun. Ready to spray, let's go in the paint booth and get these parts painted in. So we just finished the second coat of paint on the hood and all the other parts, everything is dry. We went ahead and mixed up some clear coats, so let's go ahead and clear coat these parts. So check that out, all the parts are nice and painted, man. I can't wait to get these parts on. And honestly, I'm not a painter, but I do really like painting the small parts like this. And hopefully one day I'll be able to paint an entire car. But we got everything painted, the hinges turned out beautiful. So did the fender, everything is painted. We also went ahead and threw some paint inside here, kind of like how the factory does it. So everything is pretty much done. So that's pretty much as much as we can do on this BMW as it sits right now. You guys know we are waiting on this frame piece. Obviously the weather is really bad, so it's taking a little bit of time. But we did also find this wiring harness on eBay. And the crazy thing is, it does just go simply back here and just unplugs out of this plug right here. I didn't even know they made wiring harness like that because usually when there's a harness like that, it, it goes through the entire car. Just like on my McLaren, one wiring harness for the entire car, which is pretty crazy. But we got that on order, so everything should be here next week. And then once all those parts cure up, we'll go ahead and put everything together on the hood, put the hood on, and we will have to also paint this door because once we pulled it off, we did notice that it did get scratched up right there. I'm guessing when people were opening up the door, but that's no big deal. All we have to do is strip all that down. And what do you guys think? Should we go ahead and black out these chrome handles right here? I'm thinking if we did black them all out, it would be pretty cool since we kind of do have to take apart this door and those doors will be pretty easy to take off. And man, guys, I can't wait to get this car done and this car done, and we can probably even take them to the drag strip, do a little bit of racing, because this car is fast. It's all-wheel drive with the option to put it in rear-wheel drive, which is super cool, so I can't wait for that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Also, follow us on Instagram at VTune to get an inside scoop, and if you want to cop some merch, head over to VTune.com and pick you up some. Thanks for watching. <laughs>